Have it a nice coat on the on the sauce chicken. Welcome back to another episode of Soul Food Kitchen. My name is Trey, the Jigae Man. Except today we're not doing Jigae. Today we're doing a little bit different. We're doing Korean fried chicken with beer. So let's go over our ingredients for Korean fried chicken. We're gonna need chicken, obviously. I choose flats. You can use a whole chicken, you can use wings, you can use drumsticks. I like flats, so I'm using flats. Chicken bouillon powder, you can use the cubes, I can use the powder. Milk, and this is a little bit of fried powder. We'll go over the ingredients later, but you can use whatever you want for as far as that ingredient goes. Okay, we're gonna start by prepping our chicken wings. We're gonna take our salt and pepper, pour it inside. It's only a teaspoon of each, and this is a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. And you're also gonna use mix, 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 mix with your hand. Then you're gonna put your milk in it. Mix, mix, mix. This is only a half cup of milk. Pour that in there, and you're going to set it aside for 20 minutes. Meanwhile. All right, for our sauce, we're gonna prepare all these sexy ingredients together. Really easy. There's only three tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of red pepper flakes, third of a cup of gochujang, uh -huh. uh, ketchup, third of a cup, honey, third of a cup, brown sugar, babe. I get high off your love, don't know how to behave. Third cup. Third cup of minced garlic. Obviously about the kind that's already minced because I didn't feel like doing it myself. Mix, 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 mix. All right, we have our chicken marinating. We just finished our sauce. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna prep the rest of our dry ingredients. So we're gonna take a cup of flour and put it into a sack. Just one cup. And we're also gonna take this is a combination of garlic, onion powder, powder, gun, <laughs> garlic and onion powder. I said gun powder. <laughs> cool, uh, potato starch, you can use corn starch. It's completely up to you. And uh, baking powder. That's what I use in this whole thing. So take it, dump it inside. There you go. All that beautiful coca. Put it off to the side. And we're gonna, it's not coca, by the way. <laughs> it's been 20 minutes. Chicken, steering its own juices. All right, so we're gonna take a cup of flour, we're gonna put it on top of it, and we're gonna mix it all together. Oh, forget it, just get your hands in there. No need for that. Get your hands in there, get dirty. Get all up in there, massage it, yeah. Cool, we have it all mixed up. While off camera, we added a few more drops of milk so that way we can evenly coat every piece of chicken. So now that we have it all even coated, we're gonna drop it in our bag, probably about three pieces at a time. There, there, there. And take it, we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. And we wanna coat it with our mixture right here. And the, re the reason why we do that, so it doesn't stick together when we fry it. Okay, so now we're gonna start frying off our fried chicken. One of the important things with Korean fried chicken that you gotta remember is that your oil temperature should be between 320 and 330, which my thing is indicating to me already. That is between that. You wanna to try to maintain that temperature. Once you drop the chicken inside, the chicken's gonna to reduce to a lower temperature. Play with your temperature gauge right there. Try to keep it within that 330 level. It probably won't get there because you're gonna fry it off for seven minutes. And after seven minutes is done, you're gonna quickly remove it from the, from the heat and you're gonna set it out to the side. The key to this thing, you have to fry it twice. The second fry time goes for two minutes. And from that one right there, you're gonna make sure that our uh, heat rises back up again. 330, probably get up to 350. And if it gets up to 350, just cut your temperature off. Drop your chicken in there. It'll, it'll fry it off still for about two minutes. And once you see it going below 330, you can cut the fire back on. 
it's actually a really easy process. It sounds extra complicated because that, that's who I am, but it's really easy. So right now my temperature is at 331. All right, so now it's at 331, we're gonna drop our chicken inside. I don't need these, cause I could just, that's the beauty of the flour, just dibble, dibble, dibble. No bounces and all that stuff. Hey Google, set a timer for seven minutes. Stop. Okay, so we're gonna take our chicken, take it off the heat. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna set our chicken up to the side. We're gonna wait till our heat, we're gonna, for about a minute, one minute. We're ready that heat rise. All right, so our temperature hit back to 330. Now we're gonna drop our chicken back in for the second fry. That's why it's twice fried chicken. And then you're gonna do it for two minutes. All right, so it's been two minutes. Pull the chicken out. Here we are. Pretty amazingness. But wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. We're not done. We're gonna make the sauce for the chicken. Then we're gonna plate it up. So we're gonna take our sauce, then we're gonna warm it up. And we wanna warm it up until it starts to bubble. Now, typically you would drop the whole thing in there and be like, you want sauce everywhere, but I'm not that guy. I like to brush my sauce on. Have it a nice coat on the on the sauce chicken. And you're gonna continue that process. Remember, you don't wanna do all your chicken, you only need to do some of your chicken with the sauce because you're, you're, you're gonna enjoy it without the sauce. Cool, I hope you enjoyed my Korean fried chicken. Thank you again, we appreciate you guys watching our channel. I hope you enjoy my Korean chicken. Don't forget to click, like, smash at the Soul Food Kitchen. Jiggy me out. I, 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 I,